This is just going to be a quick little video on my high standard Sharpshooter M 22 long rifle. Uh, from what I can tell, it is made around the 1970s, and as you can see by the hand grip, it was meant to be a single handed target shooter. But um, you can still comfortably hold it with two hands, it's just you got to figure out how to put your thumb with that with that big feather or whatever you want to call it on the on the left hand side of the grip. So uh, operation is very simple. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that the firearm is empty. Um, we're going to pull the slide back which is the rear half of the pistol. Because there's a magazine in there is an empty hold open so uh, it stays open without uh, any kind of manual operation. But if you do want to manually operate the slide it's right here. So we can see the firearm is empty, magazine is empty. We're going to remove the magazine just so that the feeding path is clear. Uh, to remove the magazine, you actually have to manually pull this forward. So it's not like other guns where the it's up by your thumb and it's quick to do. You actually have to physically change your hand position, pull down, and the full metal magazine falls out. The magazine is 10 round and it has a 5 and a 10 indicator and also a thumb grip for uh, taking tension off while loading the magazine which is great. So we can see the feeding path is empty, the chamber is empty, we know the gun is empty. I'm just going to show you the magazine or the, the slide release is on the right side of the gun instead of the left so it's a little different. But again where this person is meant to hold the firearm with their left hand and their thumb up on that feathering uh, the slide release is easily accessible with my index finger, my trigger finger, and um, it's not a trouble at all to pull that back. Now, with no magazine in, the slide will not stay back, so you can pull back and do a manual push up, and it, it stays open for you. If you want to field strip this gun, uh, it's very simple. This button right here, you just push it in, the barrel comes off in one pull. And to take the slide off, you just lower the slide release, and the slide comes right off as well, and that is field stripped. Now, when you put this back together, all you have to do is line your slide up, put it on, pull it back, manually put the slide button up to hold it open. Your barrel, there's an indentation here. Uh, this lug basically is spring powered, and it has quite high tension on it. You just Put the barrel in the hole, force that lug in until the barrel locks into place, and um, it's not quite there. There it is. And when it's in proper place, that will move forward, and you've got a good solid lock in, and uh, you're ready to go. Safety on this firearm is this metal button right here. Down is ready up is on. It has a very audible click but there is no color indication like a red dot or anything. So again usually the easiest motion is what will take your gun into fire ready and pushing up will put it on safety. So again nothing and unfortunately it's a rim fire. I know I'm dry firing it but there's no other way. I don't have a snap cap in so that's it. The trigger on this also is a hair trigger. It is seriously made for target shooting. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video of this high standard Sharpshooter M22 long pistol. Uh, it's really fun to shoot. It has no firing issues that I can find with it as long as you use the right ammo and what I found works in mine is uh, CCI Mini Mag 40 grain round nose, not the hollow points. The hollow points do work but I find the round nose just feed better. Thanks for watching.